Hey YouTube, what you know good? He is the Reverend, and we're back with some more of that fresh art goodness. So, what are we working on today? Well, today is illustration 27 for day 27 for October 2020, where I did 31 illustrations in 31 days. All original characters, either by me, friends, comrades, or fellow artists. This is another one of my own creations, and another example of what happens when my brain won't shut the hell up. This one was inspired by two main sources. The Android Saga from Dragon Ball Z, and the character Penny Paladina from the web animation series Ruby. One of the big reasons why I liked Ruby way back when, at least, at least for the first few seasons, before things got a little weird, um, is because despite all the ridiculous ideas they had, a lot of which never got expanded on or explored, they had a diverse cast of characters that could just, could just be put in almost any kind of situation and you would have something interesting there. I think that's one of the reasons why the their little side series Ruby Chibi did so well. But I digress. Um, when it comes, for those who don't, uh, when it comes to Penny, for those who don't know much about the series, I won't go into too many, de too much details, and uh, just you know, to prevent spoilers. Even though, by the time of this recording and this video being posted, Rooster Teeth, the series that brought us Ruby, has been shut down, and all access to Ruby seems to have been eliminated. But it has been bought out by I think Viz, so it might be only a matter of time until the series comes back up. Uh, to, you know, for public access, but we'll see. Uh, when it comes to Penny, though, she was quite socially awkward and it was a little odd. Just not, not just the way she spoke to people and the way she greets them, the way she addresses certain things, but even the way she walked. You could tell there was something odd about her until one moment of incredible physical strength makes it pretty obvious she was not human. Turns out she is a a, a basically an artificial human however is really close to being human despite that because apparently she has a soul um, th at least that's what it seems to be the case they didn't go into too much detail at the you know at the start but there are more details here and there but I won't go into too much detail just in case you guys want to see the show meanwhile there's also just in what like in Dragon Ball with the Android Saga um, right before we are introduced to Androids 16, 17, and 18, and eventually Cell, we get the introduction of uh, Android 19 and 20, who were kind of frightening in their own way, especially just the, their very business-like way of speaking, um, and just how vicious and violent they were. And I think that's the big, uh, the, the two big takeaways that, uh, for, you know, when it came to conceptualizing this character. Um, I ended up designing this character to be essentially a, a like, a artificial human that was also someone's bodyguard. A very no-nonsense, very business-oriented kind of individual. At least that's what it looked like from everybody. Um, she never broke, uh... She never broke that stoic look on her face. She never took that hat off. And she was very, very efficient at protecting whoever she was supposed to be protecting. Um, she had a product number because she, uh, of course, she's just a machine and she was basically being tested to see if she was decent enough to maybe mass produce later on. But I ended up giving her the name uh, Cyrene which is basically uh, naming her off of a Greek char a character in Greek mythology who was a very powerful daughter of a king who's also known as the Lion Killer to the point where she became a queen of her own uh, her own uh, uh, nation after the deity Apollo just was enamored with her and just yoinked her off. The idea, I think the reason the big reason why I wanted to name her Cyrene is because she was essentially a protector of her father's like land at the time, to the point where the reason why she was called the Lion Killer is she's, she's actually protecting her father's flocks from some li some li lion and just took that sucker down and killed it. 
um, the idea of just a the idea of just a seemingly a, a, a rather um, unassuming female just taking down something as large as a lion very fitting for the kind of character that I was uh, coming up with here and in this illustration you see that she's maintaining her calm demeanor despite the fact that her um, her identity is essentially exposed in this illustration we're seeing what would happen if she was in the middle of protecting whoever she was protecting while also having had all the skin uh, artificial skin obviously on her left arm completely blown off or burnt off the sleeve is missing uh, the outfit's supposed to have sleeves. You can tell a little bit if you see the uh, the right arm, which she's holding behind her back, all chopping me out. You know, like you would see a lot of badasses do, like those those like in those kung fu films where one arm's behind the back, the other one's up front, and basically all they need is one arm to <laughs> take down their opponent. That's basically what she's doing. Um, as for her never taking off that hat, I had this idea that there was actually an antenna under that hat, kind of like that one episode of Spongebob Squarepants. But um, I also had this idea that um, maybe there was not just an antenna, but maybe radio uh, devices hidden those bells in her hair, and that if uh, she ever had to be redesigned after or rebuilt after whatever happens in this fight, that's that's exposed her arm and all that like let's say she might have lost that fight and got destroyed maybe she was rebuilt there they would you know be a little more efficient maybe uh all the stuff will be in her head I mean, she won't need the hat or if she does have the hat maybe it just becomes a weapon <laughs> maybe it's a maybe it's actually a drone <laughs> I'm, I'm already coming up with random ideas right now and i'm this is it once again this is what happens when my brain won't shut the hell up i will start coming up with all these ideas but unlike certain companies i will keep them in the back burner unless i know i'm going to actually make use of them but it is an interesting idea but we will cross that bridge if we ever get there i don't know what kind of story i would put sirene in but i i will keep that in the back i will keep her in the archive just in case i need her you never know but with that said, let's go ahead and wrap this up for today. If you guys enjoy what I do here, don't be afraid to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you really want to support this little project, I do commissions, and I have a Patreon. Links below. Until next time, y'all take it easy, memento mori, and I will catch you all in the next one. Kill the feed.